This is where the fun begins, my Jedi and Sith friends. Hi guys, Furrowbikes here, coming to you with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the images for the new Summer LEGO Star Wars 2020 sets that have leaked um, on, I mostly saw on Instagram, but they were leaked all over the internet. Um, of course, I cannot show the actual images here, for LEGO has not officially be revealed them yet. Uh, the actual images were leaked from some, some, some sort of Japanese booklet or catalogue, or however you want to say it, um, but of course we'll be going in depth here. Uh, quite a few exciting things here, so you'll probably want to stay for the whole entire video. Uh, but uh, yeah guys, let's dive straight in. We of course have the first set here, which is the Death Star Final Duel. Um, of course, it is basically exactly the same as the 2016 version, with just a few minor changes. It of course has the exact same many figures, including two Royal Guards, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and of course Emperor Palpatine with that new hood piece. Um, some minor changes to the actual set include a couple of uh, control panels on either side of the walls next to the actual throne itself. Um, slightly sleeker design for the window area where of course you have a couple of cheese wedge pieces etc. And then of course the actual door itself towards the actual throne room. It's also been upgraded with a couple more detailing, which looks really nice, I must admit. Uh, the features are the exact same. Um, of course, the shoot where, of course, you have the... Uh, where you throw down Palpatine has been swapped to the other side, and it's exact same with the fallen platform. So just a few minor changes there. Next set here is, of course, the Knight's Buzzard, but LEGO kind of references it as something else. Um, of course, it does look kind of good um, it does kind of remind me of being overpriced a bit but I'm not the type of person who really cares about that because I probably won't be getting it anyway because it's a bit out of far reach but the actual set of course includes a couple of Knights of Ren minifigures the ship itself looks I must admit it looks quite sleek with that nice black design with a couple of highlights of light grey and a couple of bits of dark tan, which are to represent some of the sand on, uh, and now I forgot, Pasana. Um, of course, you can probably open up the front. Uh, you have a couple of stud shoot, spring loaded shooters and stud shooters about. You can, you've got a small turret gun there, and you probably have some space at the back for your minifigures to pilot the ship. Next set here is some sort of resistance ship. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Tantive 4 mixed in with the U-Wing in terms of colour scheme. As well as shape, it has somewhat of a head hammerhead design, similar to Tantive 4, and then the engines and the colour scheme remind me of a U-Wing. It has a nice light grey and blue looking design here, with a couple of highlights of dark grey, which looks really nice. The minifigures do include like a gonk droid, um, another Mon Cala minifigure, which is really nice. Um, of course, we've never actually seen this ship before, uh, that I know of personally, but yeah. Next set here is, of course, General Gravis' Starfighter. It looks basically exactly the same design as the 2010 version. Um, unfortunately, the minifigures do not include a Commander Cody, uh, which is a lot basically a lot disappointing. Um, it does include, however, many figures such as Obi-Wan Kenobi, a 212th Airborne Trooper, and then a General Grievous. The actual Starfighter itself does look quite sleek, but is very similar to the 2010 version, where you of course have the missiles and the cockpit where you of course put General Grievous. The next set here is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, which looks exactly like the 2014 version, but it does kind of look sleeker. The guns look sleeker and a lot nicer. Um, it does include the exact same cockpit pieces as the previous one, as well as a Anakin Skywalker minifigure, as well as R2-D2. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have a, any drive minifigure, such as like a Modian Guard or Newt Gunray or anything like that, um, which is a little bit disappointing, but then again, 
what kind of minifigure could you include? Um, it does look quite, quite sleek, but then it's very similar to the 2014 version. Next set here, probably the best out of the whole lot, is of course the AAT. Many figures include a Season 7 Ahsoka Tano with the Shakti headtail head piece that's been printed with Ahsoka's appropriate colours. As well as a 320 second company trooper here, which looks incredible. The helmet looks incredible, it is of course Phase 2. And it has similar to markings to the 501st version, and of course it would go with the 501st Legion set. Um, it also does include two Kashyyyk kind of battle droids, which of course pilot the AAT. Um, it makes sense because they're the type of droids that would actually pilot them. Now the actual build here looks incredible, it looks really nice. Um, it does kind of look a little bit bulky, um, the head does look a little bit big as well. Color scheme, far better than the tan version. Um, of course has the nice dark blue separatist color as well as light grey and some dark grey. Although it is basically the exact same size as like the 2015 880, which fine personally, but I know some people would complain about size wise. But yeah guys, that's going to be it for these leaked sets. Um, of course, if you do like the content you see here, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Inferno Bricks, and peace out.